Good morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time it is in whatever part of the world you are. Thank you for joining me once again. My name is Alex Copeland. I am the owner and the founder of Pocket Ace Promotion, which is what you're kind of watching. Uh, hopefully you've seen some of my other videos as well. But this one here, I wanted to explain why I've been away for a little while. I've been quite quiet on the blog, quite quiet on the videos. And I did promise a lot of stuff to you. And so I'm going to explain what I've been up to, what plans I've got, and maybe touch on something that not many people really cover. It, but it's a very important part of this whole make money online, working for yourself type thing. So let's get into it straight away. So first and foremost, what have I been up to? I haven't been adding as much stuff as I would have liked, but there is a reason. It's not me just being bone idle lazy, although there have been times I've slept during the day, I will be honest. It's because I've been nice and busy building up stuff and just planning stuff for the future. Now, first and foremost, I'm not going to go into it too much because when the time comes, you'll know much more about this, but I've got two products planning in the works. I've got one that shows you all about videos and how you can do them right the way from like nothingness, no money no skill, no anything, right the way up to like these sort of green screeny type stuff and the equipment you need for that. So I'm planning, to, I'm planning a product based on that, okay? Um, this isn't going to be a free product, but I am going to share stuff for free as I always do. It's just for the next step people that want to really take it to a really killer level, okay? Now, the other product I'm working on is actually to do with local marketing, which is a lot of stuff I do for clients and that. And I'm working on a product that basically takes you right from the beginning, choosing all your keywords all the way through building a site and actually getting paid in order to do this for other people. Again, this is going to be a paid product. I will be sharing things for free as I always, always will. So don't worry, that's not going away. But there's a reason I'm doing some paid products and that's where the next part comes in. Now, there's something that people don't mention a lot when it comes to this sort of make money online and especially when you work for yourself and especially if you work for yourself and you're on your own doing it. Now, motivation can be a hard, hard factor but there's one thing that keeps you going through this entire thing and that's what I want to touch on today and that's mindset. Okay, now mindset, don't worry, I'm not going to go all like hippie on you, but if you're a hippie, that's great as well, because I love that stuff. But I'm not going to, because I understand some people aren't into it as passionately as I am. But I am going to cover sort of the main reason and the main thinking I've got behind and why I think it's such an important part of marketing and making money. It's all well and good knowing all the techniques and stuff like that, and you, you know, everyone can go out there and kind of follow step by step, that's cool. But the thing is, when you buy a product, there's gonna be like probably 90% of people never do anything with it. Now it's the same product that those 10% made money with, so what's the difference? Now the difference is mindset, that's all it is. It's basically having the knowledge is not a problem, it's having the actual get up and go and the open-mindedness to think this can work. Without a correct mindset, basically what you're doing is you're throwing mental blocks in front of you, okay? Now if you've got this attitude of, oh, I don't think that's going to work out, I'm not sure if this is right for me, that sort of thing, then that's going to hold you back. So the thing is, you've just got to think big, you've got to think clever, not arrogant, although I'm probably guilty of doing that every now and again, I've got to be honest, just ask anyone that knows me. But the thing is, I'm not trying to be arrogant, I'm just trying to be very positive and very much that anything is possible. Now. It, may sound weird to you and if you're in a certain slump or if you're really worried about money or something like that it's going to be hard to do this but if you've got a positive mental attitude in everything you do believe me better things happen it's just nature if you're thinking bad things bad things happen if you're in a bad mood something gets broken if you're in a good mood then you notice things you see the cool things in life and good things happen to you it's just the way it is so Positive mental attitude is a huge part of what you need to play in this. Now, I'm going to tell you a story and why I've been quiet and why I'm doing this paid stuff, and you'll understand why this works, okay? Now, there's been times where I've been a miserable son of a bitch, right? I know that. You can ask my kids and family. I have been that person. But I snapped myself out of it quite a while ago now, and I've been pretty cool ever since. We all have dips. I'm not perfect, but we all have dips. But most of the time, I've got a very positive mental attitude. You can ask my friends and stuff. I'm actually annoyingly, sickingly positive most of the time, to the point they want to punch me in the face, okay? But I take that as a positive thing as well, because obviously I'm doing it right. Now... The other day I was going to go to like a meetup thing in Manchester. It's actually called Marketing Summit and it's the second one. Uh, and they got more, I mean if you ever get a chance to go there, absolutely take the chance because it's a really cool place to go. But up to a certain point I wasn't gonna bother. Okay, I was a little bit, oh, I don't know if I can afford it, I don't know if I can do this, I don't know, I don't know if I wanna spend that sort of money just going up there and sitting there and basically a classroom, this sort of thing. In the end I decided to go for it. Bought myself like a, a pretty crappy hotel to be honest with you and just posted on a forum that said, hey, I'm going to this thing, I'm, I'm from Cheltenham, you know, uh, hopefully see some of you there. Right, a guy answered that, who happens to be from Cheltenham as well, said, hey, we're all going out for beers tonight, um, 
how would you like to come along? So first choice was I decided that I was actually going to go and do this thing, even though I didn't really feel like going away for the weekend. Okay. Second thing was I decided to put up a forum post saying who I was and what I was, where I was from and what my background was. No reason to do that at all. Just took a chance. Felt like it. I was in a happy mood. Then this guy offers me to go out for a drink with a bunch of people, a bunch of marketers. So I think, oh, it's a Friday night, you know, don't even know these people. I thought, sod it. Let's go for it. Positive mental attitude. You never know what's going to happen. So I went out and I went for this drink. Happens that it's a bunch of marketers that are doing extremely well in this business. Get to know them, laugh a lot, find out we've got the same sense of humour, etc., etc. Okay, got on really well. Thought nothing more of it. Thought oh, that's cool. You know, they're going to this marketing summit thing as well. I'll meet them there. At least I know someone. So so far, all this is incidental. This is all taking opportunities, and it's all based on the fact that I've got a mindset to say, hey, good things could happen out of this. So, so far, I've taken a chance with buying a ticket for a marketing summit. I've taken a chance with putting a forum post up saying what a jolly happy guy I am from Cheltenham. I've taken a chance going to meet some strangers at a pub, which could have gone awfully, awfully bad if you think about it. And now I've made some new friends and they're top marketers. And I think nothing more of it. So anyway, the weekend comes along, I'm off to Manchester. So I think, shall I drive? Shall I get a train? I thought, I'll get a train. Why not? So I buy a train ticket. Okay, it's another expense, but that's fine. It's, yeah, I didn't want to drive really. Wife needs a car. Blah blah blah. You don't want to know what my personal life is, or maybe you do. Tell me below. Anyway, so I decide that I'm going by train because it saves me having to drive. I figure that because I'm going by train, the train's going to be cheaper on a Friday. Don't worry, there is a point to this story. I know I'm blabbing a bit, but I decide to go on the Friday because it's cheaper for the train ticket. Okay. Always look after your money, even when you've got money. It's a simple truth, right? So I get the train for the Friday, and I decide that I'm going to go up, see if anyone's about, maybe meet up in a bar, stuff like that. It turns out that the marketers I've met the other week at this off-chance drink are also going up on the Friday. So I arrange to meet them later on that night. So I get to the hotel, and it's basically a bed in a room, which is all the hotel needs to be. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't the best thing in the world, but it was okay. It would do. So I put all my bags down and everything like that, and then I get a text through from one of the marketers I've met on the Friday saying that they now had a space in there, yes, in their penthouse suite and would I like it? So I thought to myself, on the one hand I'm all unpacked, I've got some coffee over there, there's a nice telly there, I can watch what I like. Uh, I can lay on this bed and I can fall asleep or I can go up to this penthouse suite and I can stay there, possibly get no sleep whatsoever, but get to meet a lot of very cool people. So I decided, yeah, go for it. So again, a positive mental attitude and a choice to just go out there and take an opportunity while it was there. And none of that would have happened if I hadn't taken those opportunities, taken those positive chances and thought something good could come of this. Now, there's many people out there that would have thought, oh, strangers in a pub, I'm not doing that. And that's where their journey would have stopped. They might not have put a blog post up. They might not have even gone to the marketing summit in the first place. You just don't know. All these steps along the way, I took every single one of those chances. And now, because of that, I am involved with a group of marketers that can help me in every aspect of my business, which brings me on to why I've been quite quiet and why I'm doing paid products as well as the free stuff. Now, I'm not going to ever desert all this free stuff because I love this whole karma, giving backwards and forwards stuff. That's always going to be there. But the fact is, all the premium stuff, I'm going to go on, I'm going to make like proper big courses that you're proud to buy, that you're proud to follow, and that are proper decent stuff, not this bullshit crap that you see everywhere that someone trying to make a quick buck. There are some good ones out there. Don't get me wrong. Don't get me wrong. I'm not knocking everyone, but there is a lot of shit out there, let's be honest. So my plan is to make free stuff that you really appreciate and premium stuff that you can't believe you got. Okay, that's, that's the plan. Now, talking to all these guys, they've taken me under their wing, so I'm going to be doing more and more stuff. I'm going to shape up the blog. I'm going to start giving you more content, I promise. I'll be posting a couple of times a week. I'll be putting a new video up at least once a week, and so on and so on. Now, I want you to join in, obviously, so you let me know what you want to see in the free stuff, in the core stuff, in whatever it is, and let's make this really special. But remember, all of this happened because of positive mental attitude, and if you don't have that, if you don't have the mindset, that things could happen that are great by taking chances, then you won't get anywhere, I'm afraid. So the name of the game today is Positive Mental Attitude. Always be happy. Always think of the good that can come out of a situation. Next time you buy a course, don't think, what if this goes wrong? What if my WordPress breaks? What if the sky falls down? Don't think of that. Just think, if I do this, I could buy a new car. I could buy a new house. I could treat my family. Whatever your why is, okay? The why being why you do this in the first place. It might just be that you like buying new stuff. Whatever that is, you just go ahead and do it, but do it with a smile on your face and enjoy the heck out of it, okay? So, so thank you very much for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. And thank you to my new friends if you're watching this. And I will be seeing you real soon with some more content, some more blog posts, some more videos. Make sure you subscribe to all the various things you can. YouTube stuff, mailing lists. I don't even know where they are on the screen, but they're around somewhere. So go and check us out. Make sure you keep in touch so that we can do this journey together. So thank you very much. Take care of yourselves. I'm Alex Copeland. Have a fantastic day.